Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're talking about enlargements. This is part of the topic of transformations and I already have a video on the other transformations. I will link that in the description and at the top of the screen right up here. Okay, we're going to look at some questions. The first one is we've got this shape on the grid and we're going to enlarge it by scale factor 2 uh, and the centre of enlargement is uh, the origin. This uh, symbol here, O, just means the origin which is 0, 0. Okay, so we're going to put a cross at 0, 0 and then we're going to consider all of the corners of this shape. And what we do is we take our ruler and our pencil and we draw straight lines from the centre of enlargement through the corners of the shape, like this. And you keep going further than the corners, make the lines long. Notice the last two uh, corners line up, so you only need to draw one line for them. And what we're going to do is going to move the uh, corners of the shape uh, two times further away along these lines. Because it says a scale factor of two, so they need to be moved two times further away. And it looks like this. We are moving the corners two times further away than they were originally. Like this. Oh, okay. And this gives us a new shape, which we can connect up with our ruler. And this is the enlarged shape. It's been enlarged by scale factor 2. And as I say, every matching corner is now two times further from the center of enlargement than the original shape. OK, now we're going to look at a slightly different example. And this says, on the grid, enlarge the shaded shape by scale factor minus 3 and center minus 1, 3. Okay, this is a negative scale factor, and I want you to pay attention to what the negative does. So firstly, we mark on the coordinate, minus 1, 3, and that's the centre. And we're going to draw lines from the corners of the shape through the centre of enlargement. Like this, like this, and like this. Notice that I'm drawing it through the centre of enlargement, and I keep going all the way through the centre of enlargement to the other side. And now we're going to move the corners of the shape three times further away from the centre, but in the opposite direction, like this. So the new point is three times further away, but it's on the other side of the centre of enlargement. Over here we've got two squares between the corner and the centre, and over here we have six squares between the centre of enlargement and the corner. So it's moved three times further away, and it's in the opposite direction. So the minus makes it the opposite side, the 3 makes it 3 times further away. Now I'm going to do the same with the other three corners, like this. And we can connect up those three corners and draw our new shape. And that's it, we have enlarged this uh, shape by a negative scale factor. Again, the negative just means that the new shape will be on the opposite side of the centre of enlargement than the original shape. Finally, we're going to look at a fractional scale factor. So here we're going to enlarge the shape by a scale factor one quarter around centre minus four minus three. Okay, so again we're going to mark on the coordinate minus four minus three, and we're going to connect up the centre enlargement with the corners of the shape using our pencil and with our ruler. And what we do is we move the corners of the shape uh, a quarter of the way from the centre enlargement. So the distance between the centre enlargement and the corners of the shape is divided by 4. For example, look at this one. Uh, this blue shape, uh, corner here uh, was 4 squares away from the cent uh, centre. Now 4 times a quarter is 1, so now it's only 1 corner away. So if the scale factor is a fraction, it will make the shape smaller. And again, all I've done is move the uh, corners of the shape to a quarter of the distance uh, from the centre of enlargement than the original corners. Okay? Okay, I've shown you three examples there uh, in today's video. I'd like you to um, re-watch that video if you want to, but if you feel you're ready, you can try doing uh, these questions here. And you're going to enlarge the blue parallelogram by a scale factor uh, 2 around centre 7, 6. Enlarge the blue parallelogram by a scale factor minus 1 around centre 3, 2 and enlarge it by scale factor 1 half around centre 6, 1. 
You can try doing this on a screenshot on your iPads, or you can copy this down into your books if you want to. Try to predict where the new shapes will be, and if you're ready, I will show you the answers in three, two, one. Okay, how did you do? Did you get it right? Let me know how you did in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We've got plenty more videos coming every week, so remember to like and subscribe so you're always up to date with our GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths Revision videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.